Hello, today I'm going to talk about matcha, which is a uh, tea, and uh, I was walking around Tesco and I actually came across it, and uh, I'd heard a lot about it, and, uh, you know, I mean, health food and this type of stuff, so I thought I'd give it a try. After all, you know, if Dr. Michael Greger from Nutrition Facts says that he never leaves his house without it, then it must be good. The first thing I noticed was the price, something like that. It'll cost uh, around 12 euros, so it's not exactly cheap. But then again, it might last a long time. So uh, if it does you wonders, then price doesn't really matter, then does it? Uh, but what's it uh, good for? So, as always, I turn to the US National Library of Medicine, National Institute of Health website, which has the largest collection of medical studies in the world, and I found a variety of things of interest there. Now, matcha is a powdered green tea. I'll show you what it looks like. Well, I'm not going to take it out of there, but there you go. It's in a, it's in a powder like that, you can see. And it, which is produced by grinding with a stone mill. So it's been consumed for at least 1,200 years that I know about when it was first mentioned and was getting a lot of praise in the process. It's a bit like an instant tea, and I, I use say in, in, instant, it's not really sort of instant because what it's in a powdered form. And what you do is you uh, put it in uh, some uh, water, uh, the water's got to be around 80 degrees centigrade. You stir it vig vigorously until it dissipates. I haven't got it to dissipate yet but uh, um, maybe I'm putting too much in and that doesn't matter because there's this sludge that forms at the bottom I'll just use that for the next cup in any case so it makes sense though to consume all, all the tea and now I sometimes actually when I use a uh, green tea I'll actually eat the tea leaves I'm probably the only person in the world that does that but most people just throw the old tea leaves out and this is I think is quite similar to uh, maybe if you had some Brussels sprouts you throw out the Brussels uh, sorry you throw out the Brussels sprouts and drink the water um, you probably don't do that now, if you look at the nutritional information to start off with, matcha will give you a tiny bit of vitamin A, iron and protein, but you're going to have to drink the stuff non-stop and by the barrel full to see any benefit on that front whatsoever. Uh, matcha, matcha contains more chlorophyll than any other tea, I think, I might be wrong on that one, and it's full of antioxidants. Now, the results of a September 2003 experiment suggested that there were between Three and 137 times more of the antioxidant ESCG in matcha than in any other green tea. I just say between three and 137, so please note that most are probably around three. Now, the reputation of matcha comes from its purported positive effects on mood, and research has shown that three constituents present in matcha, matcha tea uh, are responsible for this. They are L-theanine, the antioxidant EGCG and caffeine, all of which affect mood and cognitive performance. Now that sounds pretty good. However, a September 2017 study found that uh, it may only induce slight effects on speed of attention. Another 2017 test showed it was caffeine uh, that was mainly responsible for improvements in cognitive tasks and self-reported alertness, vigor, arousal, etc. And one needs to take at least 200 milligrams of L-thionine to see any improvement in self-reported relaxation, uh, tension, calmness. Uh, L-thionine and caffeine combined were found to particularly improve performance in attention switching tasks and alertness, but to a lesser extent than caffeine alone. Therefore, those taken as a replacement for espresso may be disappointed. Aha, what are other things though? Claims have been made about its role in fighting cancer, but more work here needs to be done. And this is the same just but with everything related to cancer and uh, foodstuffs. Uh, there are some preliminary suggestions that suggest that may be helpful in the early stage of certain types of cancer, but you know, we know it's a little. Uh, other studies have shown that it reduces dental plaque in dogs and helps with type 2 diabetes in rats, as well as glucose levels in mice. So if you're a dog, a rat or a mouse, that's pretty good news. But if you're a fruit fly, it's not so good because it has a very negative effect on them. So, assuming that you're a dog, a mouse, or a rat, or a person, then and you like the taste, then go ahead and drink the stuff. 
but don't expect it to make you the next Einstein. Now, if there's any research that comes through showing any medical breakthroughs, then I'll be more than happy to update this. If not, then I won't.